here. Welcome to the very first episode of Monster Hunter World with my character, Josh, and his little palico, Pain. So just a little bit of background. Um, actually, I've already made a background video, so if you want, you can check that video out for a little more details about these two characters, how they met, and a bit more about, well, their designs. So, today is the first episode of a Not Let's Roleplay. I will be obviously answering for my character, just to keep things interesting for both you and myself. But also, I just find it fun to talk to the characters, even though they know they can't hear me. So, as you can see, my character, decked out in chainmail armor. Why did I choose chainmail? Well, I like chainmail. My little palico. He's all he's all orange in that. Why is he like that? In all honesty, I'm paying homage to a former cat I used to own. But enough of this. You're all here for one big reason, and that's to see the game with me. Now, I know this game is a little old. Couple years at least. A year and a half, maybe two, maybe more. I'm not 100% sure. But I wanted to play this game. I wanted to show you guys you know, just the fun of it, not just... Yeah, and play, plus chainmail looks cool there. Alright, so... Let's get the game over and... These loading screens, they always kill you though, huh? They always make it so annoying just to get through. Now, if you haven't watched the backstory video, so, oh, how about a toast? Yeah, sure, I'll take a toast. What the hell's in the mug, anyways? Hey, there you are, buddy. To the A-list and the commission. To the A-list and the commission. So, what are we drinking? Seems alcoholic. So, tell me, what's your theory? The elder dragons must migrate to the new world for some reason. Um, because there's more food. After running the research commission for forty odd years, <laughs> wet toast is in the mug. <laughs> yeah, wet toast, wet bread. That's what it is. And I agree. Keep it down. Hey, speaking of, A-listers usually operate in teams of two. Have you sat down with your partner yet? Um, I don't even really know who my partner is yet. Okay, I technically do. I've played this game on my own personal account. But, for sakes of this, my character has no idea. Oh, look, there she is, actually. Listen to that. <sighs> rough out there. The oh, yay. Up. That's got a mean landfall. Oh, that's good. You're on the A-list, right? Huh. Meowdy do. Meowdy do. I'm not oh God. psychic, but I do have pretty good ears. Ah, put her there. I happen to be an A-lister myself. Oh, oh, and here comes the fun part. Aw, her food. Hey, wait for me. I find it funny how I was kind of thrown into having her as a partner because of this. I mean, but Jesus, this thing is huge. I used to play Monster Hunter Freedom Unite, and I loved that game, and the only thing that came even, I thought that even came close to this was the freaking uh, Laoshan Lung. All oh, that toast is gone now. <sighs> That's what you call alcohol abuse, man. You just call it pure alcohol abuse. Ah! Pain! Sorry. I like my Palico. Palico's always going to join me on this journey, by the way. Unless I go online and uh, people start joining in too. But my Palico's always going to be with me. Okay. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. And this is where we learn the controls. You know, move and that. Oh dear god, let me run, let me run. There we go. 
Yes, wall climb. I already know how to wall climb. Yeah, I don't think we're getting on that ship anymore. Uh, we have to do something. Um, I vote we haul ass and get the fuck out of here. Oh, it's haul ass. This way. Yeah, no shit, I'm trying to run. Uh -huh. Oh, hello. Uh-oh, ship's moving. Okay, let's haul ass now. Time to haul ass. <sighs> yes, it's a moving ship. And it's coming right for you, so time to move. Wait, were those people- people just land on the thing with us? Oh boy. Okay, great. Back. Oh no. I'm trying, but the camera's not playing nice. Screw this. Time for fast moving. Oh, that's a big boulder. Okay, time to go. Time to go. Excuse me. Pardon me. Coming through. What's that? I'm moving too fast for you? Um, no, it's mo called move your ass. I'm already at the top of this thing. They are nowhere near you. Um, this isn't ground. Uh, then why'd you call it ground? If you knew what it was, you should have known it's not a ground, it is an elder dragon. Okay, jump time. Screw this! What am I, Spider-Man? Alright, well that was fun. Okay, okay, okay. Well, that was fun. That's one big ass ugly son of a bitch. Wow. The new world. It's very leafy. Drop us. Don't drop us. Don't drop us. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, I dropped her. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, that thing was just the Zora Magdross. It's a elder dragon of sorts. Big ugly son of a bitch, that's what it is. We'll be learning more about it when we get to the camp. Floating screens, gotta love them. Ow. Superhero landings. <laughs> All right, now for the fun part. What's this? I don't know. The camera's not letting me. Can I please run? Thank you. Walk over to the handler. How about I run? That works better for me. I found this in the tent. It has a map in it. Well, part of one at least. Sure, I'll take it. Looks like we're right around here. Yep. Your powers of deduction are amazing. The Research Commission's base of operations is here. This is where our ship was supposed to dock. Okay, so For that's now, only what a 20 minute walk? We make our way to base. Oh no shit, that's where we were well, supposed to head anyways. Okay, I'm going to go on ahead. Oh, so that's how they do it. Welcome to the forest zone. Look, the research commission's headquarters. Come on, let's get going. All right, let's get going. Sure. Whoop. Eh. Run, 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 run. Uh, don't bother the big monsters. You don't have your weapon yet. I can't believe all my craps on the ship. Oh wait, the ship is. To get to HQ, we need to. 
We need to what? Ooh, there's a puffy thing. Poked puffy thing. That heals your health. Alright, um... This... so oh, what the hell? seem every bit as docile as the ones back home. Oh, what the hell? I'm gonna have to go the long way around this time? Oh yeah, that's right. Fishies! It looks like we need to go around. Damn it, again? <sighs> eh, alright. I forgot this is a long-ass tutorial round. memorized my scent earlier. If you lose sight of me, just follow the scout flies, and they'll lead you right to me. Uh, okay, unless I purposely leave you in the dust. Alright. Eh. Squeeze through. Ugh. Come on. Push our <laughs> yes, we can push our way through. I was already most of the way through when you were saying that. This place looks nice. Where the hell did you come from? Oh, these fucks. Jaggers. I hate these things. That's a lot of them, and I have no weapon right now. Then again, my weapons. Oh, yeah. I'm trying. I can't believe how stupid these things are, though. Like, I've literally tried this trick against big monsters, and they find me out in like five seconds. And they didn't even know I was there to begin with. Like, they didn't see me hide or anything, and yet... Okay, the coast is clear. Let's oh. Get going while we still can. Got the art of camouflage. Oh, yes, this again. Get out of the way! Oh my God, get out of the way! Let me in! Freezing boom. And it doesn't help she made that moaning sound. <laughs> oh, perverted jokes for the lose. Nothing can stop us. Banzai! Oh, superhero landing. <laughs> oh, what the hell? Oh, what the hell? Come on, hurry up, woman. <laughs> okay, if you were going faster than a snail's pace, we'd probably already be there. Oh, yes, that's right. Hide. <laughs> what is this track? I don't know, let me smell it. There's so, more over there. Let's check it out. Um, how about we don't and say we did? <sighs> Dad damn it. Um, you might want to slow down. Yes, let's wait for the guy who actually can save our butts if things get hairy. Oh, it's the Great Jager. Oh, crap. Um, yeah, I don't have a weapon here, so I can't exactly help you. Okay, uh, I don't know how I'm gonna do this, but... Oh, hey, look. Get off of her. Hey, this guy's got a sword. Hey, can I have your sword for a minute? I'm extremely proficient with great swords. Okay, uh, just leave me behind, I mean... You know, this is getting a little annoying. I almost forgot how annoying this part of the game was. Oh! I'm trying! But I won't... Okay, I'm just gonna go this way. Nope! I'm noping the hell out of here faster than you can say fuck this shit. This is almost like when I was a kid and fought those Velociprey. So the Velociprey's a lot bigger! I'M TRYING! FAIL JUMP! Well, that was fun. Hey. Let's not do that again without giving me a weapon first. You all right? Let's go. Yeah, okay. sure. I'm coming! Well, that was fun. And again with the loading screens.
Yeah, this one is actually pretty uh, nice. If you want, you can take a screenshot and you can use it as a wallpaper. Just kind of edit out my shit. <laughs> oh, here we go. Wow. Amazing, ain't it? Just look at this gate. It's like nature meant for us to build a stara right here. A stara. I like it. <laughs> Astera, the hunter's home, I guess you can call it. Yeah, well, that's nice. Glad, glad to know people worried enough to come hunting for us. Okay, set him down here. Take it nice. Leave the tape off your shoulder. Hold still for a bit. Hey, you guys made it. Yeah, barely. Thanks for coming to look for us. You're alive. Had it rough, huh? Hey. When we couldn't find you two, we were starting to sweat bullets. <laughs> you scared us. Do we talking about going out to look for you. Oh, talking about it. Glad oh, to know you actually well. did, huh? Hey, we need a hand. Sorry. Come on. Catch you later. <laughs> <laughs> this here is our trade yard. Trade yard, huh? I guess the name says it all. <laughs> Yeah, get random shit from random places, huh? All the people. The people. Stuff. Incredible. <sighs> right? Yeah, sure, whatever. We've got it all here. We've got hunters to do all the exploring, scholars to do the research, technicians to keep them going. Mm, that is good, I this guess. This place is the beating heart of the commission. Wait here a sec. Commander, I found him. You found him. We found you, buddy. I don't think this commander guy really does very much here, though. Like, other than talk. Welcome to Astera. Oh, yeah. This is where they stop voice acting them and just make us read it. I'm glad you made it. Somehow, I knew you would, though. How did you know, though? When you've been in command as long as I have... Well, how long has that been? What, two weeks? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, you start to learn who's capable and who isn't. Well, um, I'm a survivor from another village, Poke Village. And now, as much as I'd like to get you up to speed, I'm being pulled in eight different directions at once. Well, that's nice to know. We'll cover the important matters at Council, which I'll be convening once things settle down here. Okay, sure, whatever. Expect to see the two... Uh, I expect you to... To be there, of course. Well, why? I'm just a random hunter and she's just a random hunter also. Why would you expect the two of us in particular to be there? Your reputations precede you. Well, I'm, I haven't really had the chance to build my reputation yet. I mean, I've hunted a few things in the past, but not really. My furry friend was looking for me? Pain, he's here? Well, that's good to know. A horn will sound when it's time for the council. Well, Great. Off you go. Yep, off we go. Okay. I'll give you the grand tour. Let's start by looking for your palico. Uh, where the hell this is my palico is again? They carry most of the basic necessities. You should drop by later to see what they have. Yeah, sure. I want to find my palico first. As I mentioned, my palico is kind of based off of, uh... This is the it's this way. Excuse me, I was talking there, buddy. My palico is based off of Here. my old cat. When I was growing up. Didn't get to have him very long, but... I still love that damn beast. Hmm. The cat... My cat... You were the commission's fifth fleet, right? <sighs> yes, I'm talking to my audience here. Charge. My grandfather was with the first. That was a long time ago. Can hey, I please finish my story? Born and bred right here. Never even been to the old world. That's nice. So, um, he was a motorboat of a cat. When he would purr, he could be at the doorway on the other side of the room. It sounds like he's right beside you. And then, when he's right beside you, he sounds like he's right in your ear. Here's our smithy. This is where you can craft weapons and armor. You'll be here a lot. Yeah, no shit, I'll be here a lot. 
Wanna check it out? I would, but first I'd like to find my palico. That would be very nice. It's toasty in here. That's nice. I'm gonna go look for my palico. Wanna get going? Yeah. I wanna find my palico. Pretty sure he's up here. It can't see over. Damn it. Palico, where are you? This here's our canteen. Okay, usually when they do something like this, it means something important's kinda happening. Hey, over there. Finally, there you are, Pain. You barely know her there, Pain. I knew you pull through. I tried my best using the game's mechanics to imitate me. Ginu's old meow, but unfortunately they didn't have a high squeaky enough character like cat sound. Now that you are all here, let us begin council. Okay, let's begin the council then. After tracking a migrating elder dragon across the sea. Yeah. The fifth fleet have finally arrived in Astera. Give them a warm welcome. They're a fine group. Worthy comrades who will help see the research commission's long efforts finally rewarded. You have no idea there, buddy. Would you like to say a few words? Oh wait, am I actually allowed to talk now? No. Nope. Roll up our sleeves and get our hands dirty. This here is the commission's core team. You should all get to know each other. Looking forward to it. Now, down to business. Yep. The latest monster to make the Elder Crossing is known as Zora Magdaros. A huge monster with a mountain of fire upon its back. Pretty sure the whole thing is basically made a mountain of fire, but that's besides the point. The Research Commission's job is to discover exactly why the Elder Dragons are migrating to the New World. Hmm. Well, why is it that important? They could just be coming here to mate and make more Elder Dragons for us to fight. Elder Dragons have been with us since the dawn of time. Yeah, they're one of the five elements. Altering the ecosystem, reshaping the land, leaving disaster in their wake. Yeah, and more dragons, one of the five elements. Come on, buddy, get your Once story straight. A or so, they flock to this continent. But for what reason? With the fifth's help, we will find the missing link. Here, here. Now we're talking. Pretty sure the monkey monster from uh, uh, Monster Hunter Freedom Unite isn't here. Hunters, for the time being, I need you to focus on investigating our Jagras problem and securing Astera. Jagras, yeah. Start by investigating the Jagras's habitat. Find out what makes him tick, and we'll go from there. Okay. Right, we're on it, sir. Can I go get my weapon first, please? My parents paid a lot of money for it. Everyone else, you know the drill. Make sure these hunters have everything they need. Now we're talking! You two, make it a priority to learn how we do things around here. You'll find good teachers, so don't be afraid to ask. I'm pretty good as a hunter as is, so I don't really... Stick with me and you'll have no problems. Sure. The fifth banner promises a change in the wind. Oh, it's boy. your job to fulfill that promise. Alright, dismissed. Thanks. Now, I know the character technically has... Oh. Not even a whole day and you're already on your first mission. <laughs> you really are ready for, to get your hands dirty. Well, I came here to get my hands dirty. Well, let's go look in, into this Jagger's problem. But you'll need a weapon first. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah the, one of those things is mine. In the... I know in the box, technically, there's a bunch of other stuff. But, my character is a great sword wielder, as mentioned in my video. That's the housekeeper. Eventually I'm gonna get upgraded by how- like, by different housings. Replace some basic gear for you in that equipment box. Make sure to choose a weapon that suits you. <sighs> 
choose a weapon that suits me, huh? Uh, correction, I'm choosing my weapon. The Buster Sword, one. That's the sword my character's parents, quote unquote, paid for him. Same basic one his mother started with when he was young. Now it's become his weapon. Uh, I'm not ready to leave yet. Once you're ready, head to the canteen. I'll be there waiting with a quest. You can get more familiar with your weapons at the training area. Just talk to the housekeeper to get started. As I said, he only uses those ones. I am getting rid of these other ones, except for maybe the heavy bow gun. But that's for more of a sentimental reason for my character. Thinking Mac, I should have made his father a gun lance user instead. Uh, this is a light bow gun, right? There's the bow. There. Now, I still have the leather armor also. I don't really need it, but I like keeping the armor just in case. So you never know what armor sets you might actually, uh... You might actually need. Oh, wait. <sighs> because I'm... Uh, because of the game I'm playing, technically, I have some DLC I have unlocked. So let's just get that part out of the way now. Sorry, I'm just kind of skipping through the dialogue. Now, first off, I've got my handler's outfits I can change. I've got her default outfit. This one. Busy bee dress. The sunshine. Or... This one. So, what do you think there, David? Which one do you vote for? Yeah, there's a bit of a lag, so... You like the regular outfit? Alright, we'll stick with the regular one. There's some other DLC stuff, that, but I'll gather that stuff later. But yeah, there is a bit of a lag between what I say and what you guys get, so... If it takes me a moment to reply, or... Whatever, you know why. Uh, that's the armory and provision stockpile. Grab what you need. Once you're done, go meet up with our, your handler in the canteen. Sign up for a quest. Sure. Handlers sort through the research commission's leads, and the ones they deem worth our attention become quests. All right. Now there is a faster way. <laughs> There is a faster way. J just take the lift up to the canteen. Yeah, he just said the same thing as me, so... I don't worry about misspell anything. My spelling can sometimes be utter crap. Right on time. Okay, partner. Time to get down to business. The guild uh, teamed us up for a reason. Well, it's probably because we just got put through shit together. From now on, you're my hunter and I'm your handler. That doesn't sound very right, but okay. Oh, yeah. Bread to your butter. Okay, that just sounds even worse. <clears throat> Fifth Fleet's first mission is to survey the Jagger the Jagger is a habitat. Alright, let's go slaughter some bitches. Then uh, gotta call a certain number of them in order to secure the area. Let's go kill them. I mean, that's what it's that, that's what I'm supposed to do. So let me go. <sighs> Got as part as soon as you sign up for Jaggers of the Ancient Forest. You ready? I'm waiting to be ready. What am I waiting for? I'm waiting for you to shut up so I can do this. There we go. Post a new job. Uh, quest involves... Ba -da -ba. I'll just leave this up on the screen in case somebody actually wants to read it. Okay, that's good enough. So, assign mission. Jaggers of the Ancient uh, Forest. That's right, I have no... Oh, uh, tutorial. Oh, yeah, quest cooldown. You got a bit of a time frame before you're able to head out. And once it says you're ready, you can head out at any time. Now, this is something to do beforehand. Eating. Eating helps give you temporary food boosts. Now, I do not have that much money. I got 2,600 zenny. 
So I'm going to have to pay with my money. Now, you can make your own custom plate when you're doing this. Or, you can choose one of the assigned plates, so to speak. For example, a meat platter will give me an at a small attack boost. Fish will give me a defense boost. Uh, veggie will give me an elemental resistance boost. And so on and so forth. And then there's the unpredictable platter that'll do something weird for me. Me, I like having the meat platter. Why? My character's all about strength. And I'm sorry to say, but I love watching these kitty kitties cook. And then there's this guy. <laughs> Just so thorough with that. Wow, that is one tiny ass meal. I forgot how small the meal was when you first start out the game. And then there's my there's my palico. He's still trying to catch up with me. <laughs> Alright, so I'm prepared. I can depart when I'm ready. Booyah! And here we go, we're off to the first mission. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I have the video streaming on my phone right now. I did not realize how bad of a lag that was. Like, I just started the mission right now, and I can see myself flying off to go to the mission. Alright, this is our first job. Let's do a quick review of quest rules. Okay, quest rule number one. Rule number one. Complete the objective to complete the quest. Easy, right? Duh. Each quest has an objective. You can't consider the quest done until you complete that objective. Well, that's another duh. Our current objective is to eliminate a specified number of Jagras. Let's check the map. All right. Come on, let me check the map. We ran into some Jagras on the way to base. The small monsters, remember? Yes, I remember them. I think we saw them somewhere around here. Yes, it was around there. Well, we kind of have to. Rule number two. Use the supply box. Uh, is that one mandatory? Because I don't really follow that one half the time. The commission supplies us with a loadout of certain items for each quest. Okay. They're in the supply box over there. Have a look and decide what you should take along. I'm going to take everything. Some of that stuff you can actually keep over to the next mission and you can sell it. Ready to go. All right, so... Oh, yeah. Okay, I'm trying to grab these things. Why aren't you letting me grab the empty... F okay, so it's only letting me grab a certain things at a time right now. Alright, so, let's go. Wanna get going? I'm already ahead of you. Buddy, get away from me. Whoa! Be careful. Be careful of what? Ready your weapon before attacking. Keep in mind that what you're able to do depends on whether or not your weapon is drawn. Yeah, no chit. When you're investigating or gathering items, you'll generally want to keep your weapon sheathed. You can Why are you? Honey and mix it with a potion to make mega potions. Why are you so far behind I me? Have gathering sites and monster positions on the wildlife map for you. Thanks. Do not care. What the hell? Oh, how did you get ahead of me? Over here. I'm. You were behind me. Now you're ahead of me. Hold on. Let me grab these things. These things are good for... Yeah. ...getting a monster's attention or creating a distraction. A pack of Jagras! Those are the monsters we're after! Oh yeah! see how you hold up when you're on your own. One, two, three! I am a very slow hunter. That was close. That would have been so cool if I had knocked him out of the air. Crap! Thank you, Pain. Now, Jagras are kind of bitches. Don't let him get away. Now. All the monster materials you can. You can use them at the smithy. No, I didn't want to drink. God damn it! Oh, well, that was a waste of a potion. The more Jagras materials you have. The more Jagras based equipment you can use. Shut up! I am talking to my audience. One, two, three. That's some iron ore for later. Iron ore is great for making metal type weapons. Whoops. Hey, bitches. 
that was a flash bug. Flash bugs, well, they kind of blind the uh, enemy a little. Sword is a powerful close range weapon. Though attacks leave you wide open, the payoff is well worth it. Come on. Come on, camera. Work with me. Keep it together, okay? How many more do I. Oh, I only got one more to kill. Perfect. Hey, you. One, two, three. Missed! In the famous words of Mushu, ha Missed! How could you miss? He was three feet in front of you! And that just doesn't help me very much. It just blinds me half the time. And that's it. Now, I've got one minute to gather up all the Jaggers that I've murdered. I'm gonna get a lot of random stuff. And it's all low level right now, but that's to be expected. I mean, it's the beginning of the game. As I said, I've play I've played this game for a while now on my main account and I love this game. I've been in love with the Monster Hunter games ever since Freedom Unite, actually since Toot technically. A buddy of mine introduced it to me a long time ago on the PSP and actually no, the same guy introduced it to me on the PlayStation, which wow, that was a while ago. I'm just going to try and gather up as much extra crap as I can. One, two, three. No! Damn you! Don't drink the... Aw, oh, man. If I hadn't to drink the potion, I would have been able to gather up from that one last Jagger. But, yeah. So, here's the quest completion screen. Shows you, well, items that you were able to gather as bonuses. So, my quest rewards were some scales, some monster bones, claws, more scales, some hide, armor spheres. Armor of the, well, <laughs> the durability of your armor. I also got some bu bitter bugs and other types of bugs are great for crafting. I'll explain crafting when, well, actually, he explained crafting a little bit. You can take two items and make them into a new one. Blue mushrooms and an herb, make a potion, you know, stuff like that. Small monster bones, mandragora, perfect. Now here's where your palico will help and come in more handy. Your palico can find you more items. I love my little guy, he always finds me a little something. Like here, he found me some iron ore. All right, so here's where, and this is the final result screen. Shows you your reward, what research points you get, and if your palico was able to level up, you even get a new cutscene in your gallery. Not really sure how to access the gallery at the moment, but I think I'd do that through the pause screen. But there's no technical pause screen right now. Can checking connection to the network? Technically, I don't have PlayStation Plus right now, so therefore, I cannot play online with people. But that's fine. I mean... I'll eventually get PlayStation Plus for my uh, for my account, and I'll be able to play. But for right now, unfortunately, I can't. Yeah. And we're back on a boring loading screen. Good to see you. Yeah, PlayStation Plus is expensive, isn't it, there, David? Yeah, I know they're not the only danger. There's that big-ass Tyrannosaurus creature. So. Ketsodon. Ketsodon, huh? Alright, we'll take on the Ketsodon. We'll make this a, a decent stream, then. Listen up. Oh, listening up. Okay, if you're gonna say listen up, then you might as well use your voice, too. Oh, you're coming along, huh? I don't need your help. You can now depart on quests with other players via online. Turn on voice chat functions now. I'm going to try to leave these off for now. Only because I'm talking to you guys. Right. Now that you've got some 
materials, why don't we head over to the smithy to see what you can do with them? So now a bunch of players are joining the online session, that's fine. I can finally gain my online bonus. Every day you get a bonus, a login bonus, a couple lucky vouchers, and a couple of bonus items. And because this is the Bring Blossom Festival, you get a couple of other items too. Spring Blossom tickets, fireworks, holy crow. Alright. So now that I've gone through this, I can go up to the smithy. You'll notice after pretty much every mission, I go up to the smithy at least once. Now the reason I do this is because, well, Smithy's got good equipment. There you are, Fiver. Fiver. Oh yeah, they they call me fi they call us Fivers. Drop by whenever you find something new and interesting, huh? Here, I'll give you some materials as a welcome present. Great, thanks. So yeah, the Smithy is well. Hold on. The smithy is where you go after you've murdered a monster to death. You carve out their equipment and... Oh, sorry, you carve out their innards and organs and shit, and you can turn them into weapons and armor and stuff like that. So, I'm looking to upgrade my sword. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's this thing called a wish list. You can... With the wish list, you can make better equipment, so to speak. Now... I've got the Buster Sword 1. My character's had it technically for a long time, but he hasn't actually had it in his possession. I'm going to upgrade it to the Buster Sword 2. Am I the only one who thinks Final Fantasy 7 when uh, I hear Buster Sword? So, there's the Buster Sword 2. Now, with the right equipment, I can make more, uh, more weapons. Now... I can even downgrade my weapon if I want. I don't wanna, but I can just do that if I want to. Now, you'll notice that my Buster Sword 2 has an attack power of 432. Now, if I go over to the Bone Tree here, the Bone Blade has an attack of 480. That's actually kind of backed up by science, because pound for a pound, bone is stronger than iron. So, I typically stick with bone-based weaponry. I know it's a little weird, but hey. I never said my character was going to stick with the bones uh, with the uh, buster sword the whole time. So I'm going to make a second weapon for myself just in case. Now, there is a fundamental flaw with bone weapons. Their sharpness. Metal weapons have an amazing sharpness, but not as high of attack power. Where it's the op opposite for bone, uh, for bone weapons. Like, look at the Buster Sword here. Its sharpness, yellow, its yellow sharpness, is a lot bit is a little bit bigger than the bone's sharpness. Now I'm gonna just go into here and upgrade. See if I can upgrade this to level two. Okay, I can. Thankfully, they don't make you go through all that again. Now, I'm just going to organize my stuff. I like keeping my thing or my area organized. All right, so looking at my Buster Sword 2, it's got a green sharpness scale. That means it can cut through a little bit better. Bone Sword 2, no green sharpness. It has the same about total sharpness, but green sharpness means better piercing for now. So I'm going to keep my bu uh, my Buster for now. Actually, I should really switch to my bone. Yes, I'll be sharpening it more, but I'm dealing more damage. Whereas with the Buster, I'm sharpening it le a little bit less, but it's not dealing as much damage. You know what? Let me just do. Let me check something else first. I want to see what weapon, what armor I can create. So, as mentioned, you can start off with the leather armor or the chainmail armor. You can preview them by scrolling over to here. Oh, okay, David, you take care of yourself. I'll see you on the next stream, hopefully. Alright, so what was I saying? Oh yeah, you can preview what the armor would look like by pressing square on your preview, uh, on your controller. 
and it'll show you what it would look like on your character. Hunter armor looks like that. I've got something similar on my main account. Bone armor would look like that. And blossom armor... Oh dear god, that is... That is pink. That is very fucking pink. But you do need to make sure you have the right equipment and the right materials to make it. So right now, I can make... Hunter's headgear. One Hunter's headgear. One Hunter's Vembrice. Once... And maybe a coil and a... A coil or a Greaves. Okay, I, I can't... I'm sorry, my character... I can't stand my character looking like that. Right now, my character's in full chainmail armor. Now. Damn. This Blossom stuff is good, actually. That's the scary part. But I don't have any Earth Crystals. Nor do I have enough of the Spring Blossom tickets. Maybe when I'm done this, I'll go into my main account and go there. But for now, let's make my uh, let's make me some new stuff. Okay, so there's the headhunter's gear. Now notice how it says equip now. Simple, just equipped it. That brings my defense from two to six. Now, I can make w at least two more things. I can make the Jagger, I can make the uh, Vembrices, which is the armbands, and then I can make either the, uh, hold on a second, I can either make the Greaves or the Tassel. So I'm gonna equip those now. Now I can make the Greaves or the Coil, sorry, not the Tassel, the Coil. Now let's see. They both give the same defense boost. I'm gonna put on the le uh, the uh, greaves though. <laughs> All right. So now, if I can get another small monster bone, I can make the coil. If I can get another hide and two more er, small monster bones, I can make the mail. So here's what I can do. I can add them to my wish list. The wish list will go off, will tell me, hey, you've got enough equipment, enough items to make this. Hey, you can make that. So if I was worried about, say, making the bone helmet here, which would look like my, that on my character. Oh yeah, you can rotate your character by moving the right stick. Now, if I had some research points, I could uh, forge myself some Palico stuff. Now, my Palico, I'm going to be a little picky with. I'm not going to give him blunt weaponry. Why? I don't find the use of it. I'm going to give him sharp style weaponry. Deal slash damage. So, his first weapon is going to be that. But I need to get some Malachite Ore. Malachite Ore is easy to find once you know where to look for it. All right. Now that I'm ready, I have two choices. I can either go up to go see my handler, or I can just go to this little bulletin board here. Oh, okay, maybe not. Quest board's not uh, available to me yet. That's fine. I'm going to go speak to my handler. This will probably be the last quest for this stream today. I will be streaming again next week on, thir on Wednesdays. Why did I almost say Thursday? Hey there, partner. Right, so next we need to take care of... Uh, next things we need to take care of are the Ketsudan. The chief said they'd be tagging, her, tagging along with us. Okay, that's nice. I don't need them, but whatever. Uh, how about we start our search in the ancient forest and go from there? Well, of course. Oh, I've got some good news. We handlers post... Oh, we need another quest... Okay, so... I was sa As I was saying earlier, the quest board... I don't need to always go to my handler. I can just simply skip her and skip this dialogue and just go straight to the quest board. I guess I had to get her permission to do that, though. That's the quest board. The quest board too. I was explaining that. It lists the same quest that I've got, so don't worry about having to check two places. Yeah, I know. We're on the hunt. Yep, let's do it. So. If I was online and I was willing to play with other people, I could join a quest too. But right now, I just want to get the assigned quest done. So, 
Here we go. Oh yeah, I can use a lucky voucher to double my rewards. So I'm gonna do that. Saving, do not turn off the power. Okay, that's nice. Okay, so since I've done that, I can eat now. Oh, I can also do this. If I had some points, I'd be able to do oven roasting. I learned this rather later on. Basically, I can take one of the items I have or something that I have, I can spend a few points, 60, 40, 45, whatever, and I could have it turn in the raw meat into food. I could turn the blue mushroom into rations, stuff like that. But for now, I'm just gonna make myself something, get myself something to eat. Ooh. So, if you check out this meat platter here, it's got an activation chance. It says three stars, but it's glowing. That means I'm gonna get a special boost. So let's check it out. And there's the key. <laughs> My character is such a messy eater. He just rips chunks off. He doesn't even wait for his palico. All right. So, my character's ready, I'm well fed, I can depart. Next week I'm gonna make sure I don't have to worry about people, random people joining my quests or anything like that. I'm just going to make sure I'm completely offline for the uh, quest uh, quest adaptations. If I ever go online, I will post a thing in the title saying online. Okay, our job is to call a certain number of Castadon. Recently, their numbers have been getting out of hand. That's nice. Get going? <sighs> yeah, but first I have to go through this part. It's not letting me grab the other stuff. All right, let's get going. Oh wait. Perfect. This is the capture net. The capture net allows you to, well, catch things far away, or if I can find something. Oh, those are kets down there. But I'm looking for something else at the moment. Dang it. Okay, well, I'll show you after, but right now, hunt the Ketsadon. These, I believe, are female Ketsadon. Take him out on your own. The females are a bit easier to take on than the males. Not by much, though. The males are a bit more aggressive. All right, Payne, you just kind of distract him a bit while I hunt and while I carve up his women. I said distract him. Ow! Right up my butt. Ooh, perfect. Okay, you see these critters here? Fire your capture net at them, and you can have them as a pet. Come on, come on, come on. Quick, quick, quick. Whoa! Ketsudon have a hard head. So, this is kind of one of the reasons I chose to go with a sharper weapon. So that way I can... Whoop, that was close. Whoop, that was close. I went with a sharper weapon, so that way I can cut through its skull. Once my sharpness goes down, though, so does my effectiveness. I will literally start bouncing off its head. But, the good news is, I took it out. Right. Carve out its gizzards and guts. Now, remember what I said about the capture net. You can literally catch these birds, and they're pets. The Castodon are the least of your worries. There are a lot bigger monsters lurking in this forest. The endemic life <laughs> can come in handy during a hunt. Try to learn as much as you can about them. Now, what he means by that is, do as much research as you can. You can get a lot of research stuff around these parts. Heck, I've almost fully mastered what I've researched in certain areas. Until they made me realize, hey, there's more to research. I know where it's taking me. I don't really want to go there right now, but I might as well. I wanted to try and, you know, kind of enjoy myself a little bit more with you guys, but... Oh, yeah, I can't go this way. Crap. 
<laughs> swing vines. I like swing vines. I'm sorry, I gotta dick around a little bit. Swing vine! Whee! Sorry, sorry. I know that wasn't very fun for everyone to watch, but I had to dick around just a little bit. Oh. <sighs> Catcher! Damn it. I was hoping I would be able to catch something. Stones. You can put them in your uh, slinger and they'll... Oh, look down there. First thing I want to do is... There's some Ketsudon down here. But, if I'm quiet... Sneak mode, activate. I might be able to catch some fish in the water. Yeah, you can actually catch fish in the water and you can turn them into pets as well. So, net ready, fire! Damn it. Double damn it. Slinger torch. Ha! I've actually killed a monster with a slinger before. Okay, he was already almost dead, but like, it still counts. Ow! Oofie! Ow! <laughs> ah! Run away! Ooh, a bone pile. That's important for later. Take that! And that! Ow! He knocked me on my ass. Now, if you'll notice, I'm still ta- uh, Now, sorry. I was saying if you notice, I'm still taking damage. Of course I'm going to be taking damage. But, I will start to take less damage the better equi defensive equipment I have on. Alright, that's... Oh no, ow. You know what? You're a real son of a bitch. Oh shit. You see that? I'm no longer in green, def uh, like, green, um, sharpness. I'm in yellow sharpness now. That means I'm gonna start bouncing off his head more. I better go finish off that female. Sorry, that female was thrashing about like she was in massive pain and it was kind of bothering me. Let's give him a moment. Hey, uh, Pain, can you help me out a bit here? Ah! Help me out a bit, I said! Okay, he's going for a charge, which means... Yeah, you learn eventually how these monsters work and how they start attacking. Curving, curving, while my cat does all the work. Whoa! Males you can du uh, double car from. Females you can only single car from. Take this! Sharpness is important. The sharper your weapon, the more damage you deal. Sometimes you can just knock their head around a bit, too. Give me a moment. Give me a moment, I'm busy. Like I said, bone piles are important because... Let's see, where is it, where is it? There we go, you can find... Ooh, ancient bones are good. Monster bone S's are good, and I need those. I need one more monster bone S and I have everything I need. Now, if you look up at the top left-hand side of my screen, you'll see I've got a red thing... Oh, shit. Here. Well, yeah, they're being attacked. Ugh. Chew your food! Chew it! The Great Jagger. Alright, partner. New assignment incoming. Take down that Great Jagras. If you're not ready, you can return to base and take on the Great Jagras quest later. Sorry. I'm gonna go take it out now. If you notice, I start pi I'm gonna start picking- This is true. This is true. Like footprints, for example. Good. You're turning up a lot of clues. There is another way, though. Since I've seen the Great Jagger... Oh, what the hell? He should appear on my map. But he 
he's not. So I guess I have to rely on this part. Grab. You can grab items along the way too as you're running. Ugh, I sniffed a thing. What the heck? Oh, take me down here, huh? Why are you not letting me jump? There we go. Whee! This is scary. Oof. Now my scout flies. Oh, he got skinny. Oh, he's using some distance and use a whetstone. Your whetstone will help you car uh, carve the sharpness back up. Whoa! Run. I'd better do follow what he said. Make a little bit of distance and just carve, uh, sharpen my shit. Oh, I got some people who joined my quest, actually. Oh, don't bother with that. See, I wasn't expecting people to join my quest, actually. I was kind of hoping people wouldn't. But hey. CR2 Freddy, thank you for helping. You see, if you see my YouTube account and you see your name, then just know I'm actually thanking you for helping me out. Next time, though, I'm probably going to be going in solo. Like, 100% solo. Whoa! If I really want, I could unleash a... Uh, whatchamacallit? An SOS flare, which will call more hunters to help me. Whoa! So I've got... Uh, so we've got... Jo uh, Josh, Payne, Freddy, and Little Freddy. Oh, he's starting to run. I can agitate him by slinging uh, some shit at him. You need to load the slinger with some ammo. I thought I had. Useful lying around? I thought I had more ammo in there than I did. Okay, that's fine. Damn it, Freddy! Where are you? Oh yeah, if you're running too fast on a downhill slope, you'll actually start sliding, and I find that hilarious. Oh, there's Freddy. He's another great sword wielder like me. Hold on. Rations. Rations help you improve your stamina. Shit, he's eating. This will slow him down, but it'll give him new attacks. Oh no no no! Oh, that fat uh, that fat belly. I know the old song is "I like big butts and I cannot lie," but uh. These aren't arses we're talking about. This is a big ass gut. Oh, this guy's pretty far in the game. I know where those, uh, where his palico's uh, equipment comes from. Or at least I'm pretty sure I know which one it is. His. I wish I had some trank bombs on me because I'd be able to hit him harder and we'd be able to catch him. Nice one, Freddy. Don't let it. One, two, three. Okay, he's skinnied up, which means he spat out his prey. It's dead. What the heck? Oh, a stamina boost. He's far in the game. What he just draw? Uh, what he just used is an item that grants basically unlimited stamina. Oh, I'm carving from the Great Jagger. I wasn't expecting that. Alright, so, I'm going to gesture at Freddy a thank you. Now, gesture. A greetings. And I'm going to applaud him. 
<laughs> he applauds back. Oh, and now we're just gonna—I'm just gonna take a seat. Oh, my character's tired. <laughs> oh, Freddy's coming to join me. But that's the end of our quest. I thank you there, Freddy. And I hope I see you again sometime. I may not, but I don't know. Oh. My scout flies are checking something out. Oh no. I think we gotta leave. I think I know what that creature is. Yeah, we gotta get out of here. Let's check it out. Don't touch that stuff, that's poisonous. The pukey pukey. Pukey pukey, pukey pukey, whatever you want to call it. I just call it the pukey pukey. Well, you were right. There's our mark. I'm not quite ready to hunt that thing yet. It's a poisonous monster, so... Something's got him agitated. <laughs> the Zora Magdaros. What in the heck is that? Zora Magdaros, I just said what it was. Like it. You think it's from Zora Magdaros? Yeah. Find out. It's Zora Magdaros poop. But we better report back first. Alright? Sure. Oh, I just want to point this out. I'm not sure if anyone has noticed yet, but my character has one green eye and one red eye. Now, the reason that, for that is that his eye got damaged by, when he was attacked by a Velocipre when he was younger. The scar marks are proof of that. And his eye changed permanent colors. Wow, that took me 11 minutes. Not bad. So, let's see. Great Jagger scale, Great Jagger hides. Main, more hide, more main. Claw, more armor spheres. Iron ore, ancient bones, more iron ore, some bugs, more bones, yes, Ketsudan stuff, and here's some bonus stuff. If you do a good enough job, they give you bonus stuff too. So let's see, uh, more mains, hide, some shells from Ketsudans, and here we are. Because I had a time to bon uh, bonus voucher, I got twice as much. Whoa, whoa, Palico going up. Oh, almost level four. Welcome to the new world. I did not plan that. I swear to Bob, I did not plan that. Hunters United. You get that for working with a hunter for the first time. Now, let me scroll back up a moment. My hunter rank is two now. Oh. Well, that sucks. It hides it from me. Sorry, as I said earlier, I'm streaming this on my phone too, so it, I can see what you guys are seeing. And it hides when I get on an award. That's sad. Huh. Okay. So. Beast Master. Me. And Sling Sniper. Me. I'm sorry, Freddy. I wanted you to get something there too. Hunter, a Hunter, the Hunter highlights. Unfortunately, it didn't happen. But, anyways, it was nice working with you, Freddy. I hope I see you again soon. God, these loading... Is my load going down? Oh! Hey, I got a new follower. CR2 Freddy. Thank you, Freddy. Yeah, we think we found a lead that'll take us to the Zora Magdaros. Aw, oh, man, it censored Freddy being my new follower. I'm gonna go add him as a friend after this. Well, let's see. It sent some researchers, but... Not with that pissed off pukey pukey hanging around. Well, I don't freaking blame you. 
Peaky peaky territory. It's pretty deep in the forest. We better equip it. Better equipped and uh, to take it on. Once our team is from the research center is done rebuilding the forest camp. Once it's ready, we'll make our move. Until then, we do everything we can to help them out. It's camp running. Let's do it. Okay. Once the camp is set up, you can go after that puke puke. Puke puke. Wonder where the resource center is. I'm a little busy right now. I am going up so I can finish equipping my hunter stuff. Even though there's probably something else I can now use, thanks to the, uh, getting the Ketodon and the Great Jagger equipment. Well, Guts. She's a shining star! Yeah, that's nice. Hammered together this time. Well... Let me take my Buster Sword and see if there's anything I can make out of it. I could make a Jagger Blade if I had some more Great Jagger Scales. Or, my Bone Blade could... Get Dick and Diddly. Alright. So, let's forge some new armor for me. Actually, screw for me at the moment. Let's see if I can make anything for my Palico. I can make him Jagger, some Jagger stuff. Uh, how much is this? Oh, these are only 20 points each. If I had some Earth Crystals, I'd be able to make something like this. Now, let's check out what my palico would look like. Press square to preview. Oh, he's already wearing the leather. Bone. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You look funny there, kitty kitty. Jagger. Oh, you look like a little lion. Just with the gun you're using wrong on your back. Alloy. Hey, he looks like me. <laughs> if he's got a bell on him. So, let's see what he'd look like like this. I like that look. I'm aiming to make that his look. Actually, I can make him his Jagger equipment. Boys! <sighs> Alrighty then. Equipped it now? Sure. It's better than what he's got on right now. And let's put on his uh, armor armor. Boys! Now, if you don't want to watch this every time, if you hit the Options button, it skips right through it all. I will skip it every now and then just because it takes so long. Now, I want the Hunter's Mail. I'll check out the Ketsudan and the other stuff in a moment. I just want to put these on. I'm sorry, I have to skip this. This is kind of bothering me. All right, now to put this on. Skip. Hey, Freddy! No, it is not the first time I'm playing this game, actually. I have a account on my better game. This is just the first time I'm playing for my channel here. Thank you for helping me out there, Freddy, too. Ketsudan, huh? I can make it if I want. Let's see what it looks like. Eh, it doesn't look that bad. I can also mix a, the Jagger Helmet. Thank you for su uh, subscribing to me there, Freddy. I do this every uh, week on Wednesdays. Hey, maybe next time if I'm playing online, I'll see you on there and we can uh, try and take on something bigger. Like the Puke Puke. But anyways, for right now, I just wanted to get the equipment for my hunter stuff done. Maybe next time we'll, I'll work on getting my bone equipment. What do I need? I need more monster. I need more of that. You know what? Just because I want to see what this thing I just want to get this thing done. I like actually collecting a lot of the armor. All right. I'm not going to equip it because when you have a full set of armor equipped, you get bonuses towards it, too. Now. Oh, I already have that on. What's the Jagger stuff look like? That's not that bad. Hey, Freddy, have you seen the Blossom stuff for this game yet? It's so sh... It's so... Pink and red and weird. 
But anyways, right now, I'm in my hunter equipment. I'm happy about that. And I'm going to sign off for now. I only wanted to get this game kind of up and running for now. So thank you all so much for watching. Thank you, David. Thank you, Freddy, for helping me out. Um, as I say, I stream every week on Wednesday. If I don't release a stream, I release a video of some kind every Wednesday, or at least try to. If I don't, something came up, and I'm going to try for the day after. But anyways, thank you all so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. Next week, I might actually not be playing Monster Hunter. I'll let you know on my Twitter account. You can find me at at JoshPlaysYT4 on Twitter. So anyways, I will see you all in the next video. Take care of yourself, Freddy. Bye.